Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Very excited to have Vicki and Michelle on the channel today. They have a company called Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers right here in New Jersey. Today, they're gonna to give us a tour of their latest creation, so join us. Hi, I'm Vicki Liston with Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers. And I'm Michelle Harishka with Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers. And we're here today to show you our latest build, which is uh, built right here in New Jersey. It's the Beach Roamer Limited Edition. It's our largest model that we offer. Before we get started though, let's tell you a little bit about how we ended up here. So how this started is we took on a truck camper restoration and we thought at first we just need to make a couple leaking repairs, maybe replace a rubber roof. And as we got into it, the entire camper was rotted away. All the walls were rotted, the roof was completely rotted, the side walls were rotted. And we found that we, be able, we have to be able to make something better than this. This is absolutely ridiculous that after 10 years, a, a truck camper is no longer usable. So what we did was we combined our different skill sets or different experiences. I have about 16 years in the general construction business and Michelle's an engineer. So you take the two of us and a little bit of a insane adventurous spirit and um, we said, let's build something better. Let's build a better mousetrap, so to speak. So we got away from wood altogether. We said, let's go with uh, a composite fiberglass material that won't rot like wood. It's not gonna have the outside peel away that sometimes Asdell and fiberglass layers peel apart. And most importantly, it's really, really lightweight. So you can get a bigger camper onto a smaller truck. So say a typical 1500, 2500 can handle a half ton of weight. And so that's what we have this one on here is a Chevy 2500. We realized that everybody who had like fiberglass construction had a very heavyweight camper. So not only are the panels lighter, but as you can see over here, our roof angle is, uh, we have a nice roof angle over here. And not only does it stop the swaying back and forth because your center of gravity is now in the middle of the truck, it also cuts a lot of weight off the top. So this large unit that you see right now, um, it's dry weight is only 1800 pounds. Yeah, which is crazy. And the other thing that we wanted to do was the guy we purchased the camper from, his name is actually a guy. He would take it out to Island Beach State Park, which we all absolutely love, but he'd bring a cooler with ice and his drinks and his sandwiches because the refrigerator required propane or a ton of electricity to run. So Michelle put her engineering hat on and, and came up with a complete solar design system that we use a DC refrigerator. It gets cold within minutes. It doesn't require propane. It doesn't require a generator. You just put your stuff in and you just go and, out and camp. You don't have to worry about a, a cooler of, of ice, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of having a truck camper on and the beach. And best of all, if you're on the beach or you're on a hill, you don't have to be at a level ground as you would with a propane. You could be crooked wherever you park and your refrigerator is gonna work for you. Yeah, so we figured let's let's change the way it's built, let's change the construction material, and let's change the what powers it and go with solar and also with the composite fiberglass panels. Okay, so now let's start with going over a little bit of how our product is built differently. The first thing I'd like to show you is that we use actual aluminum, two by two, structural on the inside, architectural aluminum on the outside. It's an eighth inch, eighth inch thick, it's very strong. It's sandwiched together to hold the panels together. Um, and then we use this very strong uh, inch and a half composite panel, which has an R factor of four. This is our inch and a half fiberglass composite panel. And the inside is made of very, very durable. It's a resin fiberglass uh, material. The outside is a smooth uh, gel coat and the inside's a, a pretty white uh, gel coat. The same type of panel that's used in the yacht industry. Um, and so one of the things that most people are concerned about with their RVs is, is mold and mildew and leaking. And, and so we, we decided to do a test. Now, what we did was on September 30th, 2020, 20, 2021, we bore out a sample of our panel and we actually drilled a hole in the center to make it even more of a challenge. And we've been sitting, it's been sitting in this water for almost eight months now. And as you can see, there's no mold, there's just dirt and there's no separation of the panel. It's extremely durable. And so this, this is our roof panel. So we said, let's test our wall panel. So this was uh, November 24th, 2021, happy Thanksgiving. Same thing, no mold, no separation. It's still, hard as a rock. These panels are extremely strong. Um, you pretty much, you could, I'll jump on it. Okay. I am going on a diet, but at least for now, <laughs> there's nothing you can do to break the panel. This came off of a five-year-old camper. 
and you may hear some people talk about their jacks separating from the uh, wall of the, um, the camper. This is what happens with wood, sometimes with Asdell and the fiberglass um, structure. It just, water gets in between the surfaces and it just rots out. And you know, it's just, uh, doesn't have longevity. Our campers come with a five year uh, builder manufacturer warranty, a 10 year structural warranty, on these panels and then a 10 year warranty on the batteries, 25 year on the solar. So we really believe very strongly in the product that we use to build these as well as the, uh, the workmanship that goes into everyone. Now that you know how we're built, let's dive into the details. Um, up here, um, as you can see, it comes with overland lights. So you can see at night when you're driving on the beach in the woods, wherever you're going. Um, it also has um, a front large window and that is your egress window for your bedroom area so it doubles up here um what we also were asked is how do i store my fishing poles or stuff when i am out you could just pop it right in there and your poles go right inside and you can lock it up the next is this area right here is for your solar and in here what we have is not only do i have your solar controllers and we can make it much larger if you'd like um, but we also have extra battery storage in here and over here in this little pocket is for your remote jacks and speaking of battery storage we can fit 500 amps of uh, lithium battery power without having to retrofit so if you want to really max out the solar, we can take care of that. Over here between the cab and your truck, you have a nice little access window so you can see what's going on inside your camper when you're on your way. Um, and we use uh, Happy Jack systems. With the Happy Jacks, if you have a dually, uh, we can um, put the bracket up here to extend out to fit your dually truck. We have a really nice large window in your living room area. It lets all the sunlight in and if you're on the beach or out in the woods, you're going to be able to get a really nice view. As you come back along the back of the camper, right here we have uh, propane storage. We have enough in here to hold two 20-pound propane storage tanks. Our taillights um, that we have are nice overland heavy-duty construction taillights. Over here under the door, is where you're going to have your dump station. Connect your hoses right over here. And under this one, you have your, your black and your gray valves right there. And they're both remote. And then under here, um, just so you know, we remove the panel that is generally, and the insulation is generally over here, so we could show you. As you can see, this is your gray tank remote valve, your black tank remote valve. And this is the back of your gray tank, and that is the back of your fresh. And you have 30 gallons of fresh, 30 gallons of gray. And in the front, we have our black tank, which is another 12 gallons. Up here is your floor, which is also made of the same fiberglass pile, so you're not going to have any rat up there either. Um, it's all constructed out of this heavy-duty um, panels with a heavy-duty resin. Um, we have a grab handle, and here we have an outdoor shower. Um, as you're coming in off the beach or your, your outdoor adventure, you can just hose yourself off right before entering the camper. And you may notice that in this unit, we don't, we're not showing any stairs. Um, we do offer stairs, obviously, but because um, the supply chain is a little bit tight, uh, they didn't get here before the actual shoot today. So we do offer stairs. Over on this side, we have a 16,000 BTU Dometic furnace. Um, an outdoor outlet, which is ground faulted, of course. Right in here, we have our um, fresh water fill tank and our city water fill. And with the city water, we recommend using a pressure regulator. Up here, we have our 30 amp connection um, to charge your solar or to plug in if you're at a campground. Over here is our tankless hot water heater, runs on propane. You're never gonna run out of hot water. Over the cab here, we have our manual light switch for the overland lights. Remember earlier, we were talking about our solar charging capabilities. Um, on this roof, we can start you at 200 watts and go all the way up to 1100 watts with the use of the side panels. On the roof itself, we could get up to 550 watts without touching your sides. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the inside of the beach roamer, but before we go inside, let's take a look at the screen door. We have a full screen, which is great for letting the fresh air, whether you're on the beach or in the woods. And then a very easy to lock and unlock uh, mechanism for the door. So come on in with our trusty ladder here. So as you come in, you'll see one thing that is very different from other RVs or truck campers. 
We don't have any wallpaper. We don't like wallpaper. We don't like that textured look. We've had a lot of people say when they walk in here, it feels like they're on a boat, which is kind of a really cool thing. All of our cabinets are uh, handmade uh, hard maple with uh, soft clothes hinges. We have a Corian countertop, which we, we've kept it pretty thin just for weight purposes. We have a extra deep uh, stainless sink and I actually love this sink because it's also insulated on the outside. So when you drop a fork or a knife in there or anything, it doesn't make that clanking sound. I don't like the clanking sound. And we have a brushed nickel faucet with a pull-out sprayer. And then since space is at a premium, we also have a stainless steel drying rack. Then over here, we have a three burner cooktop, all propane. And there's a cover on top that you can use for uh, extra counter space or it pops right back up. I have a thing for blue lights, so you'll notice blue lights are everywhere, including underneath the cabinet. And then our drawers are all dovetail construction, solid wood, uh, extended hinges, or extended slides, I should say. And then they're also soft clothes. Now in here, we have our overhead lights. We also have an outdoor porch light that are put you know, pretty close to the entrance, so that way you can just come on in and turn the lights on. Or you can turn your blue, blue lights on over here. And then we have another light over the kitchen sink and our blinds pulled down. Just basically we wanted to give the feeling of, of you're at home even when you're on the road. So if you come on in a little bit further, we have more storage space up here. And again, everything is on a soft close hinge. We have our reading lights here. You just want to have a little bit of ambiance at night. And then these couch cushions, um, they're all custom. So we like our customers to pick which they prefer. If they want a, a leather, we actually do have leather or we have leatherette or cloth or um, there's about 68 different fabrics, no exaggeration, you can pick from. So you can actually even pick the uh, density of the foam that you sit on. So it's, it's really uh, basically completely custom. We have a large window, slides open with the screens built in so there's no fussing around with screens. And then this actually pulls out to a bed. Very simply, we just take the cushions, move them over. And you'll notice everything is solid, handcrafted. Here we go. And now you've got an extra bed. And to put it away, it's just as easy. So let's talk about ventilation. We have a max air fan here with a remote uh, over here, and it also has a automatic rain sensor, which we have tested and it definitely works, thank God. We have another air max in the uh, cab over in the bedroom area and another um, fan in the bathroom. But if a customer wants um, air conditioning, we can easily put in a air conditioning system over here in the main cabin. Um, we do recommend the Dometic 12 volt uh, only to conserve power. Um, also, you'll see here we have, this is our temperature control for the hot water uh, tankless heater. And this is our remote for the Max Air Fan, as I mentioned. Coming up here, we are already prepped for a mounted TV. We have cable ready, satellite ready, and because we're using all DC powered appliances in order to uh, max out our solar system or solar charging system, we have a DC plug in there as well. And also very accessible, your water pump. Now, you'll notice the floor. Uh, this is where uh, my background in residential construction um, came in. We wanted a really beautiful, heavy-duty, resilient floor. So this is actually um, a vinyl plank flooring that has a lifetime warranty against water damage, scratches. It's pet-proof, people-proof. Uh, a lot of you folks might re recognize it as something being in, in your own homes. So now let's talk about safety. Uh, you'll see we have a uh, CO2 sensor right down here. And we also have a recessed fire extinguisher. And we recessed it because we found that so many people actually remove their fire extinguisher because it's in the way. So we recessed it into the actual uh, wall of the, um, of the camper. So coming along this way, you'll see here we have this step over, which is actually built out of uh, honeycomb panels, which are structurally sound, but also um, very lightweight. So again, throughout the, throughout the build, we try to make sure we're using the most um, durable yet lightweight materials that we can the uh, the market will find. Um, you'll also see that we have our our marine anti skid on top of a uh, on top of the marine panels. Uh, that's just to make sure you don't fall as you come out of the uh, the shower area, which we'll get to. 
And then if I pull these clips out, we can get to the area where you're going to be able to store without any retrofitting additional batteries. If you look in the battery compartment, you'll see that we have one 100 amp battle borne um, battery in there, but uh, it's also very easy to, to fit uh, additional batteries for extra power. So I'm going to take over a little bit um, to go over a little bit more of the solar and the panel for us. Um, this panel right here um, is an AC-DC panel and it also does lithium charge. Right over here what we have is our furnace controller um, and if you notice it is not digital and the reason for that is um, digital uh, thermostats continually drain power. So we went with the analog unit because when it's not in use there's no power being used. Right below here we have a nice DC outlet and we also have a couple of USB ports. Um, this unit is for, this is uh, AC outlet, which is, then this current unit, it's for plugged in, but we do have quite um, a few of the inverter options, depending on what your amount of usage of electricity is needed. Um, so we can, you know, start with a thousand watt inverter and go all the way up to a three, 5,000 watt inverter, depending on what you need to use or whether you're running air conditioning. Um, the next up is um, we have a DC refrigerator and as we had said earlier, um, it doesn't have to be on level ground and as you can tell when you go inside, it's deep because it doesn't have the back fins that a propane refrigerator does. Um, up here we have additional storage um, and of course it's soft close again. And under here is um, our light we have to go up top and we have another, our see-through window is right there. And uh, going into the bathroom, we have these really nice trifold doors for the shower. Um, and these were built based on um, complaints in the industry that the door is so narrow that people can't get into the bathroom. Well, you're not going to have that problem here. We have in here a recessed area for your shampoos, soaps, two lights on the top. One is by the switch. One is by automatic hand switch above for extra light. We have a wet bath stainless steel shower head attached to the faucet and a stainless steel sink. Um, there is a its own bathroom duct with cabinetry for storage along with a um, storage area to keep your toilet paper dry when you're showering. Going down to um, the step flush toilet and your shower pound down below. And the toilet right here is sitting on top of the black tank, which is right below it, which stores a capacity of 11 and a half gallons and for a total capacity of about 13 with the additional storage below. I want to point out right here the height. I am 5'8", and as you can tell, I have plenty of room above, even on this tall step. We have a, a ceiling height up here from the floor down to the top of 7 feet. So I'm going to go in here now. Let me give me a second here. I'm going to crawl up into the over cab area. As you can tell, you have a lot of headspace. You can sit directly up. Yep. The mattress I'm sitting on here is an eight inch memory foam residential mattress. Um, right above, we have the second max air fan. Um, and over here, we have uh, an additional outlet for you to plug a TV in here if you prefer a second. You have a closet in here. Um, and then back over here, you have um, your duct for your air, your heat right here, along with another USB double port with the, the DC and the USB and another um, AC outlet, which has USB ports in it. And under here, you have a lot of storage for any of your um, things you like to store. And you have some additional storage over here, along with this side also has its own outlet um, which mimics the one over here, which is a DC and a dual USB port. Over the bed here are two reading lights. It's switched on and off right over your head and also your emergency exit that also operates as an awning window. Thank you for taking the time today to give us a tour of your beautiful creation. Now you mentioned some factory options that you offer. Can you tell us a little bit more about them and if there's different sizes and weights available for different trucks? Sure, yeah, well, thanks Patrick for, for being here with us today. Really appreciate it very much. Um, yeah, first, uh, what we think is the most important way to start is 
each and every customer, we work with them on their particular truck. So whether they have a Toyota Tacoma to a Ford Ranger, all the way up to an F-450, we want to sit down with them and go over the exact weight requirements. We'd rather lose a sale than put something on a truck that isn't safe. So we start with, with those parameters first. Then moving on to, uh, do they want a truck length camper where it ends at the back of the truck, or would they like it to extend over the back of the truck? Um, and then we get into the solar options, which is where Michelle jumps in very much so, where our solar packages range from basic 200 watts, 100 amp battery, all the way up to 1100 watts with a 500 amps. And that's part of the reason we love the angled roofs is we could put additional solar panels on those angles. Or if you don't need all that extra solar, you can put your kayaks, you can put surfboards, etc., on there. Then when you come into the interior, everybody has different personal taste. Um, so we want this to feel like home, as I mentioned earlier. So you can pick your appliances, whether you want a two burner cooktop, a three burner, what sink you want, brush chrome, brush nickel, faucets. The cushions come in a custom fabric, decide, depending on what you prefer. The lighting is custom. Basically, everything you see here is built for you and what you want for your outdoor adventure. So that's, uh, that's part of the reason we love building these, and we love the fact that we're able to do them custom for each and every person. And your shop's here in New Jersey. Yes, we're Customer right here. Customers yes. can consult with you on the telephone, visit your website. Yes, they can either call us um, or they can uh, visit our website at beachroamer.com. Um, but whatever it is, we, we want to sit down with each and every person and make sure that we're building exactly what they need. So for pricing, we have a wide range of pricing, obviously, because these are all custom built. On the, on the one hand, we have our base camp, which starts at 16000 It's basically a shell with windows. Uh, that's for the smaller unit. That'd be more for a Toyota Tacoma or a Ford Ranger. Then we move into our uh, larger base camp, which would be more for a F-150 or Chevy 1500. And that starts $18,000, 19000 then moving into the Overland Edition, which is our second edition, it's right in the middle between the base camp and what we're sitting in here, which is the Limited Edition. The Overland Edition starts at 22, and that comes with pretty much most of the features that you need. Um, the only thing that we would have to add on is if you are a winter camper, we would add on an Arctic package, which includes the thermopane windows, the heat, etc. Um, so we're, we're priced very competitively, competitively, especially given that we are custom. Um, we do build these in New Jersey one at a time, um, which gives us the, the opportunity to really only put in what you need and what you want and none of these pre-formatted packages that you're forced to buy. So one of the things that was really important to us when we were designing and building this is that it can actually be easily serviced. Um, so everything that you see here actually came through this back door. Nothing has to be taken apart to say replace the refrigerator or to replace a tank. It's very easy to, to, um, to make any repairs. Um, speaking of that, we have the best in the industry warranty. We have five years of the manufacturer warranty. We have 10 years on the structure. We have 10 years on the batteries, 25 years on the, on the solar panels. So we're very proud of, of, of what we've built and what we continue to build. We also provide a MSO, a manufacturer statement of origin, which is critical because one of the things we've done at Beach Roamer is we actually worked with the National Highway Transportation Safety Board. So we have VIN numbers for every single unit we build. That's going to help you down the road if you move to a state that requires a title or when you're looking to get insurance on your truck camper. It's not just a simple cap. This is a, an investment that you've made into your outdoor experiences. So um, between the warranty and the MSOs, um, we believe that's one of the many things that separate us out from other, other custom builders. So if you want to find out more about Beach Roamer, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can visit us at www.beachroamer.com or our Facebook page is Beach Roamer Custom Truck Campers as well as on Instagram. So we look forward to, uh, to talking with you and talking truck campers. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much Thank for you. giving the tour today to our viewers. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I love it. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.